Alrighty, guys. It is Sunday night. I know I don't normally film my Outfits of the Week series other than Monday through Friday for work. But I've been looking good today. So I had to get on camera. <laughs> um, but me and Joe had a 85th birthday party. It is for his step-grandmother, I guess it would be. It's his stepdad's mom. Um, she is from Portugal. She came down to visit the family. So it was a birthday party slash going away party because she goes back to Portugal in a few days. Um, it was a really, really nice party. It was actually really nice because my parents were invited. It was nice seeing like my family meld with Joe's family and them getting to meet. My parents have already met Joe's parents, but they haven't met like extended family members. So it was really nice. But um, this dress may look familiar. You guys saw this in last week's outfit of the week. I wore the magenta version on Valentine's Day. And I think I mentioned in that clip that I love this dress so much that I bought it in two different colors. So I have it in this black and I have it in army green. And guys, well, it's more like a forest green. And guys, they have this dress in a shirt version. And I bought the shirt version too. This just accentuates all my curves. It, it, but it, yet it doesn't make me look like a big balloon. When I said that last time, Joe cracked up. But it's true. Like, I don't know. Certain outfits, it can be form-fitting and I feel great. And certain outfits can be form-fitting and I just don't feel like I look good. But this one, I feel like I look good. I don't know if it's... I think the neckline plays into it because you're, you're, I think your eye automatically goes here instead of here. And also all the ruching definitely plays a big part of it. But it has like this... It's obviously like... What's that word? Asymmetrical? I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but instead of it going down the middle, the seam is off the side and it goes down the side and it just adds something unique and interesting to the look. So I want the black version today. Joe, should, throw me a shirt. I'll show it to them. I can't link it. It's right here, Joe. Right here. I can't link it because it's from Burlington. So it's like one of those stores where, you know, if it's not, if it, no, your shirt. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to show them what you wore today. Ooh. This is what Joe wore today, and he got tons of compliments, and it looked really cute with my dress, and it's basically this black button down with beautiful red roses. I can't give you guys the name brand. I don't know if that'll help if you want to try looking that up. Drill Clothing Company. I will say, it definitely runs on the smaller side because Joe is not usually a 4X. He's usually like a 2-3, and that fit him well. Um, But yeah, it was. we looked really cute. Wednesday, on Valentine's Day, when I wore the pink one, he just wore a plain black button down. The roses would have looked so cute for Valentine's Day. People even asked if he wore that on Valentine's Day. But he thought it would clash with my magenta, my magenta dress. So he just wore a plain black version of a button down. And then I even told him, I said, well, at the party on Sunday, I'll wear my black dress and you can wear that one. And we look so cute. We took some pictures. I'm sure I'll be posting them on Instagram. Actually, you know what? I will post them on Instagram. So if you're watching this, head on over to my Instagram. I'll post it someday this week so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice Sunday. Um, I'm gonna hit the hay and I'm off. It is President's Day, but I actually work at a school, so I'm off all week. But I have a bridesmaid fitting and we're doing lunch with the bridal party. So I gotta I do have to set an alarm. I can't just let myself sleep, which is what I like. Um, but we're not going super early either. But um yeah, I felt super duper cute today. Hopefully I can find a dress, a bridesmaid dress. She's letting us pick our own style, which is great because <coughs> being a bigger girl. Even when she asked me to be a bridesmaid, I said, you know, I'm big, like certain styles aren't going to be, aren't going to work for me. Are you okay with that? Right away, she said, I'm actually letting the girls pick their own styles. They just need to be, I tell you guys I look on the main road all the time. They just need to be black and long. So we're going to a store and I specifically asked the store, do you guys sell plus? They said they did. So I'll let you guys know. Well, you'll see it in the vlog. I'll probably film a little bit of it. I'll let you guys know if I find the dress. Hopefully, it makes me feel as good as this one does. But I will link this down below. This is from Target. Um, this is Ava and Viv. I believe I got the 4X. Joe, you want to check my tag quick? I think it is a 4. Because they go up to 4. Sometimes with Ava and Viv, I buy a 3X. But because this one's a little more on the form-fitting side... It yeah, okay, I thought so. Because it's a little more on the form-fitting side, I did get a 3X, which I'm happy about. Um, and I got tons of compliments today, and I felt really cute, so I wanted to share with you guys. Also, I'm wearing new shoes. I don't know if Joker wants to try to pan down. I got these from Target as well. If they're still available, I will link them. They are these black platform boots. I am obsessed with them. I have been wearing out my Uggs a lot, but the Uggs don't look as dressy as these. So I thought these would look better with a dress. And it was kind of cute because me and Joe were like the same height since it has a little bit of a platform. And the Uggs need to honestly get clean. There's a lot of like, it, like I told you guys, we had a snowstorm. So there's like a lot of like 
like almost white cast on the boots and another accessory i've been wanting to show you guys i will link down below is this watch a bunch of people been asking me like oh you got an apple watch and i'm like no because i used to say all the time i would not spend money on an apple watch to me that's not a necessity guys this is a apple watch dupe that i got from amazon for like 30 bucks it comes with a silicone band i bought this really pretty silver band one exactly for occasions like this where i dress up a little bit more you can choose the face of the watch it counts your steps it checks your oxygen level your heart rate um sleep i have been obsessed with this i've been wearing this about two weeks so i wanted to make sure i really liked it before i talked about it if you guys want any more info on this let me know i might make it its own video but yeah this is what i wore on sunday this week might look a little bit different because like i said i'm not working i will definitely show you my outfit tomorrow the rest of the week i am not sure if i don't leave the house i'm not gonna have outfits to show you so i'm not sure how many outfits you'll be seeing but joe is off friday i'm sure we'll do something at least on the friday so you're gonna see at least three outfits maybe a little bit more we shall see but that is it for today Alrighty, guys it is monday president's day i told you guys i am off not only for today but i'm actually off for the whole week it is winter break where i am i know every school is different um depending what city city no depending what state you're in um i told you guys i was going bride maid dress shopping what an experience i won't get into it here if you guys want to check out what happened watch the vlog if you didn't watch it, it was posted yesterday. Because these always go up Saturday. My vlogs go up Friday. But this is what I wore. Um, I knew I was... Well, I thought, I should say, I was going to be trying on dresses. Uh, yeah, this is story time. Go watch the Sorry. vlog. And there's a funny clip in there. But anyway, I thought I was going to be trying on dresses. So I said, I don't want to have to take my sweatpants on and off, on and off, on and off. I mean, jeans. So instead of wearing jeans, I wore sweatpants. But I still wanted to be cute. And you guys know I love... Like showing off the smallest part of me. I love showing off my waist. So I thought I would wear my high-waisted sweatpants with a crop top. So technically, they don't consider this a crop top. They consider this a standard size top. It is, this is about where it ends. So I wouldn't wear it unless it's to tuck in. Because that's too short for me to not have high-waisted pants on, if that makes sense. It is a really, really nice, like, slinky material. Um, So it, it's nice for this exact reason like this is the kind of material that's perfect because it's almost like it almost resembles a bodysuit you know what i mean like the, it doesn't sometimes when you wear like a softer or cottony shirt it'll like roll up underneath this does not it sits perfectly it doesn't really move around a lot i love this color this is from a new day i love it so much i got it in a few colors from target i will link it if it's still available the square pants are older but they are from target if i can't find this exact pair i will link a similar pair i'm obsessed with these boots if you guys watched yesterday's post i wore the same exact boots i wore yesterday they're target they have a little bit of a platform i figured it would be perfect because i know <coughs> oh, that was random i know that i'm a little shorty and the dresses were going to be long so i figured a little bit of a heel wouldn't be a bad thing and this is what I wore. And then you guys know I love to rock a little bit of jewelry. I actually forgot to wear my watch. I thought of that when I was there. I went, damn, I could have counted all these steps. Especially because we went out for lunch afterwards and we walked to the restaurant because it was like semi nearby. But I wore my low-key bracelet, low-key, that I love. I tell you guys all the time. Black from the Dead Sea. The white one's supposed to be air from Mount Everest. Represents the highs and lows of life. Stay humble, but be grateful or something. No, that's not what it is. Maybe, I can't remember right now. And then this I got at a craft fair. It's supposed to be like the evil eyes. It's supposed to ward off evil spurgets and bring you good luck. And then this ring is a new purchase from Target. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I believe this was a new day too. Little just costume jewelry. I love the little crystals on it. Just a nice, cute, thin, very cute feminine ring. Super cheap. I don't buy expensive jewelry. My brother saw it and even asked if uh, Joe got me a ring. And I was like, no. I said, I was like a cheap costume jewelry from Target. The only time I'll ever get a real ring is whenever Joe gets it for me. I don't know. You guys talk to him in the comments. <laughs> I'm only teasing. He's behind the camera. But yeah, basically what I wore today, um, I rocked it. You know what? I'll show you guys. If you guys were on this channel last winter, you guys saw I rocked these beanies a lot. They're from Love Your Melon. It says Hufflepuff because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And they are a small not small business they are a charitable business because i think half the proceeds or maybe it's all 
Maybe, I, I, I don't know. Obviously, they got to pay for the, the workers and themselves and the factory and all that. But I know a lot of the money goes to pediatric cancer. Um, so it is a company I love and support and stand by. And their beanies are really good quality because um, they are on the expensive side. They're about between like $30 to $50 depending what collection you get. Because they have the pom-pom bowls that some of them are removable. Like they have a lot of different options. But they are very good quality because they stretch to my head and then they bounce right back. Some beans, once they stretched out, they don't really bounce back. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I wore these all last winter, and it's still in really good shape, and I they, they looks brand new. And then I figured, actually, since I'm right here, Joe actually got me this one for Christmas. Like I said, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I mean, for Valentine's Day. How cute is this? It has Dobby, and it has the ears. I wanted it for Christmas. I, I talked about this if you guys watched my... It was what I got for Christmas video. If I remember, I'll link it down below. But Joe was going to try to get it for me, and it was out of stock. This was so, so popular. They had it in adult sizing and then baby sizes. Oh, my God. Imagine this on a little baby. But anyway, it sold out so fast. But thankfully, I restocked before Valentine's Day, so it was perfect. But, yeah, just this, my little coat. Went dress shopping. Like I said, check out the vlog. Totally worth it. The next few days, I'm going to be home cleaning, so I'm not sure what the outfits of the week is going to look like. Um, I'm hoping you guys see at least one or two more outfits. We shall see. I'll let you guys know. All right, guys. It is Wednesday night. Me and Joe went out to eat. There is a restaurant near us that does a two for 50 dinner special. It includes a bottle of wine. You can get either soup or salad per person. Obviously an entree and then a dessert to share. And on Wednesday nights, I have my college class. So me and Joe have never been able to go. But this week, I'm on break from work and school. So, we, I told Joe if he got out early enough, I wanted to go. He honestly didn't get out too early, but I was like, it's a Wednesday. It's not Valentine's Day. Shouldn't it be that bad? So, we went at 6. The restaurant did have a lot of people, but they weren't able to see us right away. So, it was a good experience. The food was out of this world. Check it out in yesterday's vlog if you want to see it. Um, but this is what I wore to dinner tonight. I wanted to dress up a little bit because this place is a little fancier. Um, because you guys saw, I filmed the clip, I was wearing sweatpants at my mom's. And part of me just wanted to jump in Joe's car and go. But I was like, oh, I know this place is a little fancier. So let's make a little more of an effort. So Joe came in after work, got washed and dressed. And I got um, dressed as well. And this is what I wore. So I am wearing, I switched the sweatpants with some jeans. These are my Torrid Bombshell Skinny Jeans that you guys have seen a lot. If you watch my outfits of the week. Not recently, I've been kind of living in leggings, but before the leggings, uh, before I got sick in January, I was wearing a lot these jeans a lot to work. It is my favorite, especially to wear with something tucked in or a bodysuit because Torrid has this, their, I don't know if it's all their jeans or just this jean, but they have like a panel. I wish I could show it to you guys, but it's like this black mesh right on the inside and it just helps hold it in a little bit more. Do I still have a belly line? Yes, of course I have a belly. That doesn't bother me. But I feel it's not as like super duper noticeable. It makes it just a little more flat and streamlined for when you're wearing your clothes tucked in. But this actually is not tucked in. This is actually a bodysuit. I just got this bodysuit from Old Navy. I honestly don't even know if I ripped off the tag to be honest with you guys. I was like feeling at the restaurant. Like I feel like I never ripped off the tag. So if I spin around, you see the tag, at least I'm admitting to it. But it is a, let me take off the cardigan so you guys can see the bodysuit. It is this really cute, like, scoop neck. And it scoops a little in the back, too. Is the tag there, Joe? No. All right, maybe I did rip it off. I don't know. Um, just very simple, long sleeve. Nothing frilly or fancy. Um, but I love a good bodysuit with tucked in jeans for when I go out. <laughs> I will not wear this to work. So I take advantage when I'm going out other places because this is the bodysuit. It makes it a little harder to use the bathroom. Uh, and then, you know, I work eight hours a day. But going out to a, a quick little two-hour dinner with Joe, I can manage. And then, so I'm actually wearing all different stores, and I'm not usually doing that. You guys know I usually do like a, well, not true. Cause, well, I usually have at least two different stores because the pants I wear, the leggings I've been wearing a lot are Old Navy, and then it's usually always a Target top. Or small business top. But here, the pants, or jeans I should say, are torrid. The bodysuit's all navy. And then this cute little cardigan. I just ripped the tag off of it. This is Wild Fable. 
and this is Target. This goes up to 4X. I would say Wild Fable, it leans more towards juniors, but their 4X fits me very well. I, I wouldn't say their sizing leans towards juniors, because if that was true, I probably wouldn't fit in it. I would say more their style. You definitely can say that they're trying to appeal more to the young younger crowd, or at the very least, they're not focused on essential pieces. Like you can get really nice, just plain t-shirts from A New Day, from Universal Thread, from other Target brands. But Wild Fable definitely is more trendier. They focus more on the trendy pieces. So this might just look like a plain little black crop cardigan, but what makes this one trendy is it has these really cute, kind of hard to show, slits on the hands and i love that feature it is just really cute and then while i ate i didn't want to be a hot mess so i just folded it up really quick but i don't know i just love this little feature and i love when my you i've told you guys before when my stuff is like stuck to my wrist but i don't know for some reason i was really loving i think because my hands are still free because of the slit i don't know but i really love this i love this cute little like shrunken cropped cardigan well i think it looks really cute with this um bodysuit tucked in this would look really cute just over a little dress run out the door um if you're someone who just likes to cover your arms little cardigan you can't go wrong i like to have like a full length and a cropped when i want to focus on showing off the tiniest part of me in my waist i like to have a cropped tank when i just want to be oversized and comfy i love like a big loose one same with sweatshirts and t-shirts it's good to have viarity in your clothes i'm waiting for joe to make fun of me he always makes fun of me when i say Priority. What is it? Variety. Variety. You're mixing it with priority. I don't know. I, I don't even say it my whole life. It's how I'm going to continue to say it. If you don't like how I say priority, bye. <laughs> oh, God. I was talking about viewers, not you. you you're here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I am wearing the black platform boots that I have been obsessed with from Target. If they're still available, I will link them down below. Uh, they, they actually make me Joe's height. So I really enjoy it. Joe's not a tall guy, but he's not short either. How tall are you? Five, six? And a half. Joe's five, six and a half. I'm five, two and a half. So when I wear these, I'm about his height. So what would that be? Four inches? Close. You really think that heel is four inches? Yeah, it might be two. I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely close to his height, if not just under. Uh, and I like it. I like feeling a little tall. It's very, very cushiony. So, so comfortable. I haven't worn it for an eight-hour work day yet. When I go back to work, I will definitely wear it and, call, and let you guys know. But I did wear it to the party we went to on Sunday. And how long were we were at the party? Oh, we were there. Since we were there a while because we got there at, when it started at 2. And we didn't get home till close to 6, right? So that was at least four hours, and I was my feet were totally fine. And that was the first time wearing them, so they didn't need to be broken in or anything like that. I love my little black Ugg boots, and I still wear them a lot. But these are definitely cuter when you want to dress up a little bit. So yeah, this is the outfit I wore today. I felt really cute. I loved it. Um, I was debating on just throwing on a dress again. Like you guys saw, I have the green version of that dress. The ones you guys saw in black, the one you guys saw in magenta. But it's cold out. I was like, nah, I don't want to be too fancy today. But I just want to step it up and not just wear jeans. So this is what I wore. I definitely want to replicate this one day for work. Just not a bodysuit because I don't like wearing bodysuits to work because the whole bathroom thing. So I'll probably just wear like a tucked in shirt. But I felt super cute today. Tomorrow's going to be a stay home clean day. So I probably won't get on camera. Um, I'll probably pop on at some point Friday. Even if I don't end up going out, I'll pop on to end the outfits of the week. Um, but if so far, if this is the last one... Well, I will say let me know your favorite is because I might have one on Friday. So I'll end it there for now and we'll see how Friday goes. Alrighty, guys. Going to be real with you. I got to film two outfit clips. So I throw on the outfits quick now to show you guys. Last week I was on vacation from work. It was winter break here in Massachusetts. So majority of the week, honestly, I stayed home. I cleaned. I organized. You guys are going to see some outfit clips because on the Sunday, me and Joe had a birthday party. I was wearing a fabulous dress you're going to see. And then I did go out um, to do like a bridal dress fitting with friends on Monday. My friends getting married and we were trying on our bridesmaids dresses. 
And then Wednesday, which is supposed to mimic today, I went to my mom's house. So I never dress up super fancy when I go to my mom's because let's be real, I'm gonna, sometimes I even wear slippers. But most of the time I take off my shoes and I get comfortable. I grew up in that house, so it still feels like my home. You know, it's my mom. So I went there because she had my nephew. She was babysitting him. She babysits him every other Wednesday. So she's like, oh, why don't you come over? You can just bring your book. You can read, relax. You need a day where you're like not just cleaning. So I said, you know what? That sounds good. So I am wearing gray sweatpants from Target. I believe these are Wild Fable brand. I will link them down below. It has pockets. I mean, it's an everyday regular sweatpant. I loved these in black and I gravitate towards them all the time. So I treated myself to the gray pair. And then, oh, you're showing my, look at that, the angles. Good job, Joe. And these are my slippers. They're also from Target. If they're still available, I'll link them. I honestly Shout really like them. Ass, I wear them all the time. Then I am wearing a Broncos t-shirt. Broncos. I will show you guys in a second. It is from 5X Men's Big and Tall. What is definitely new is this sweater. I should be able to link it. Guys, this is a thick, high quality sweater. I love it so much. I bought it, I believe, in four or five colors. They have already been washed and come back. Not this one in particular. I just want the tag off this one. But I've worn the other colors. They've been washed, come back. And I love them. They're like thick, but not too thick. They're nice and fleecy warm on the inside. They are cropped. I know people prefer longer hoodies. So that's the only like downside. Not specifically for me, though. I have longer hoodies. The days I want to wear a cute crop this is an option has the kangaroo pocket has the strings i like sometimes a cropped hoodie because sometimes a longer hoodie can be very bulky especially when you're gonna wear like a winter jacket so sometimes i like just having the cropped hoodie and then just throw on my winter jacket and run out the door sometimes i just like a cropped hoodie if i especially a lot of my sweatpants are high-waisted so like it looks a little cuter when i don't have the big baggy t-shirt but this can be a cute look you know um so and these were so cheap guys and they go all the way up to i don't know if i bought the 5x or the 6x let's see i bought the 6x so this goes all the way up to 6x i bought it in the black and the black's probably the one color i didn't need because i have a lot of black hoodies what i loved was the other colors i bought a neon lime green i bought a really pretty like purpley lilac I bought a really nice brown and then I bought like a foresty green. I'm sure you guys will see me wearing them as we go through the outfits of the week. And then this is the Ford Bronco shirt. If it's available, I will link it. You guys know I got this. I filmed a whole haul during Vlogmas. If I remember, I will link it down below. I did a whole men's big and tall t-shirt um, haul. I, I already said haul like 20 times during Vlogmas. And I am obsessed with these. I love them. I see myself grabbing them all the time what i really love about this one is you have the little logo here but when you turn around you have the whole logo in the back this is probably one of my favorite ones from that haul and then thursday i stood home all day and cleaned friday i stood home all day and cleaned saturday me and joe did leave the house at some point to run an errand guys i threw on the same sweatpants i'm gonna be honest with y'all i wore this to sit in my mom's house and read a book i didn't sweat in them so, but I did wear a different top. So I'm going to switch the tops out right now so you guys can see what I wore Saturday. And that'll end the outfits of the week. All right. And this is basically what I wore on that Saturday. Like I said, I re-wore the sweatpants again. I was like, oh, gray on gray. That works. So I just threw on this t-shirt. This t-shirt just that when I got, when I filmed that outfit of the week it had just come in the mail. I got this to wear obviously throughout the month of March because March is definitely lucky vibes st patrick's day it's funny because i love all the greens and greens i can't talk today i love all the pinks and reds they're in valentine's day month and then i love all the greens come march and and then you know it's like springs around the corner i love like the greens and the blues and the oranges for spring i just love all the colors but i love this one i almost bought one that said happy st patrick's day but i like that this one I feel is more versatile. The other one I feel like I can only wear on St. Patrick's Day, where this one I can wear throughout March. Super cute, 6X. I, this was another Amazon. I can't believe how much stuff I've been getting on Amazon lately. But this is an Amazon shirt as well. I will link down below. Definitely check out the Amazon Essentials lines because they seem to be doing really good and I love that they carry plus size. So I'll be linking this t-shirt, I'll be linking the sweater whatever i can find basically the sweatpants are a little bit older if not I'll link something similar 
um, and I'll link what I wore in the other clips that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. I always link all the outfits down below. And as always, I ask you guys to tell me what your favorite outfit was. I know me personally, that black dress, that first clip, that is the dress that, if you know, like, every they say every woman needs a little black dress, a little LBD. I think that is the one. I think it would look incredible on so many different body shapes and sizes. And it's good for a lot of different seasons because it is long sleeve. The only time, maybe summer will get a little hot. But it is on the thin side, so not bad. It can be work appropriate or you can dress it up and wear it for a date night out, you know. Uh, so let me know what your favorite outfit was. It might not necessarily be the dress. My cameraman is coughing, so I'm sorry if you guys are hearing that. <laughs> walk away, guy. Walk away. No, I'm just kidding. He's got to stop the camera. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, just tell me what your favorite outfit was. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. You guys know I did this video every saturday today it's a little delayed it's on sunday um i've just had a lot going on life you guys know and that is it for this video guys be safe